and we're back. I hope you enjoyed your little break. Now, whoops. Okay. <clears throat> so you're in the middle of a firefight, and jumping into the room seems to be your only option. Once you're inside, the uh, fighting continues. The technicians, um, some of them try to, well, now we're only talking like four different technicians here. So half of them try to cower, hiding behind different control panels uh, that are jutting up out of the floor. The others uh, try to continue working, obviously very intent on sabotaging the community, or sabotaging the sensors, rather. I'm still watching myself. Sorry, I wish I wasn't doing that, but what are you gonna do? It's only like my fifth video, you know. So, players, it's your turn. Okay, you want to engage the soldiers. Oh, okay, player three, you want to go after the technicians. That's a good idea. I'm going to let you go first, just because I think that's a really good idea, and a couple of extra experience points for you as well. Just let me jot that down. Okay, good job. <clears throat> so, um, firing at the first technician. Okay, your shot catches him in the back. Whatever he was working on, he is not working on that anymore. And the other three, you guys wanted to go after the soldiers, so why don't you all give me your combat rolls? Okay. Two of the soldiers are hit and slump backwards out of sight. Probably incapacitated at this point. In any event, I wouldn't focus on them for very long. Next up, we've got the enemy soldiers, and they all start firing as well. Again, their shots go a little bit wide. You guys are pretty lucky. Or maybe I just don't want to kill you. Yet. Okay. Uh, one of the soldiers jumps from the left to the right and, and disappears behind a, a console. Now, let's see as I'm trying to visualize this. In response, yeah, player one, player two, you both jump and, uh, and try to circle around flanking inside the uh, sensor room. Now shots are still streaming back and forth from both sides, yourselves and from the soldiers. So we're looking at massive damage in this communicate or in the sensor room. Oh, I've got to pause it again. I will be back. Sorry, I had to go wake somebody up. Oops, thought I had a button on my keyboard. But it doesn't seem to have done anything, so I'll just go ahead and continue. Where was I? A firefight, yes. So, a couple of the shots impact the lights in the ceiling, causing the lights to flicker, and finally to go out. Much of the, uh, the compartment is still lit by the various computer terminals, fortunately. So you still have a chance, but every shot illuminates the room as though a flash or a strobe has gone off, making target acquisition a little bit trickier than you'd like. A few more volleys of shots, but the soldiers are definitely losing. Players one and two, you decided to go around and try to flank the enemy. And you're in the midst of doing that when you round a corner and find that one soldier who disappeared a little earlier. He steps out from behind a darkened, uh, well, steps out from a shadow and swings a, uh, a combat knife in your direction. You bring your rifle up but, and block the initial blow, initial blow, keeping him from stabbing you right through the chest. Definitely a grisly way to go. With your rifle pushed to the side, you're unable to shoot. Okay, so you send a kick his way. Powerful, forceful, 
uh, front kick that causes him to stagger backwards, wrapping his back and shoulders and head against a console. Then you bring the butt of your rifle up underneath his jaw. Ouch. I'll get you to make a quick roll for that. Okay. It's a, a powerful thrust using all of your strength in surprise. And you have knocked him backwards, and he slumps down onto the floor. In the main part of the room, player three and four, you're still trying to uh, engage the enemy. Quite, su quite successfully, in fact. And after uh, another couple of moments, which probably stretch like eternity in the middle of a life or death fight, you manage to uh, whittle away the opposition until the enemy soldiers are laying on the floor now. Let's see, so sensor controls are, okay, so who's going to try and repair the sensors or put them back online? Okay, there is some encryption in place, but uh, it's system encryption, so you shouldn't have, alliance encryption rather, so you shouldn't have any trouble cracking it. It's your own code. Okay, good luck. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, you totally crank that. You reactivate the sensors, and very quickly the captain sends another signal to a terminal nearby. Oh, okay, you other two, you want to try to get into one of the armored suits, try to find out who these soldiers are. That's a good idea. Okay, let's see here. The armor's definitely sealed. Um, in fact, it's sealed from the inside. You don't find any latches or clips or anything that would allow you to get a helmet off or even so much as a glove. And this armor was built to the toughest specifications. It's big and it's bulky and it looks incredibly heavy. A lot of talking I'm doing, you know that? Let's see how we're doing for time. <clears throat> oh, not so bad at all. Though it looks like I'm going to be doing another four or five videos tonight. Let's see. So, um, I'm going to get you to do that mechanics check. Oh yeah, you already did that. I'm sorry. So the captain comes back online. Uh, Captain Mallory is uh, again on the monitors, demanding a ship's reading from one of the sensor operators. And then you hear in the background, Captain! Torpedo in the water! It's coming straight for... The monitors flash as the bridge is blown up. A split second later, the ship shakes and groans. You hear rivets popping, like a an echoing ting! Ting. It's kind of an ominous sound, as it would be on a submarine, for that matter. So you are alone now, aboard the ship. What could you possibly do next? What would you like to do? You've got the lifeboats operating. You did that very first. Do you want to head there? You want to try to get to the bridge? Okay. Um, heading off towards the bridge, you uh, you uh, encounter a few uh, a few soldiers on their way from one destination to another. Do you want to try to attack or wait for them to? Okay. You uh, hide. <laughs> or strategically emplace yourself in such a way that they won't see you when they go by. Let's do a quick check and see whether or not they're uh, alert enough to notice you on an otherwise empty ship. No critical failure by those guys. They dart past uh, in silence except for the thump 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 of their boots. 
still doing good for time, although I'm starting to think about what else I could be doing this evening. I'm doing my best. You reach a uh, sealed doorway. Um, you think the bridge should be on the other side, but uh, you're in an area of the ship that you've never been before. This would be like a peripheral entrance to the bridge. So it may be correct, but it may not be. You uh, catch a... Hmm. I think I need to do a little bit more work on this. I'm not quite prepared. I've actually gone a little bit faster than I had intended, and my story ideas are kind of running out. So let me pause for now. But if I get enough comments that you guys want to continue, I will. Before I stop, though, there is another message terminal, another communications terminal, uh, right next to the bridge door. And it flashes on. Uh, it's uh, The screen itself is all static, but you hear a voice say, This is Navi Second Navigation Officer O'Shea. We're on a collision course with Earth. We're going to impact Canada. You need to shut down the autopilot if we're going to survive. Can you do it? Can we count on you? So, give me some comments, give me some love, and I'll continue the story. Otherwise, who knows what could have happened? Might be a mystery. Thanks for watching.